Hey, how you doing? It's Chris coming at you one more time. Got a question from one of my peeps and I figured that's a good question. Let me do a video. Let me throw a video together because when I get a question here, chances are it applies to you there. So, hey, let's put it on video. So the question that we're talking about today is what do you do if the image that's on your Google Street View, you know, that one that's on your map that, you know, the car that drives around, what do you do if that image is wrong? It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen and because if you're an independent professional, chances are you're not always going to be in the same location that you're at. There's a bunch of different reasons that you could move from your location and it's always good to make sure that all of your information across the board is all straight, you know, your online information. Well, we're talking about that street view image and well, as you know, with your Google business profile, you have the ability to add images to it. People that are customers of yours, they have the ability to add images to it, but then there's street view and that's that car that drives around and they have the ability to add images to it. Well, how do you fix that when that goes wrong? Well, the process isn't that very difficult, but it's not exactly transparent. So it's kind of a workaround. I'm going to kind of take you through that so you'll understand. There's different ways you can do this on the iPhone, different ways you do it on Android, different ways you do it on a computer. But at the end of the day, it's all about you need to get to that image so you can make the corrections or put in the request. I'm going to show you how to do that. So on a desktop, let's go to... Now we're going to do HP browse because that's the one we're talking about. And you notice there's no knowledge panel over here. So we need to get to the knowledge panel. So we need to put an address by it or at least a, a modifier, a location modifier. So since they're in Henderson, we're going to do that. And now that we put down the Henderson thing and I'm logged in, you'll see that this little section over here, because I manage this business, this showed up. If you go here, you're not going to see this because you're not nice like that. But you're probably nice like that for your own stuff. So if you really want to see that, hook it up because it'd be kind of cool. Anyway, what we're talking about is this image right here. What do you do to make this image go get corrected? So when you click on it, you'll see all the different images that show up. So you got the by owner image. If any um, customers put images up there, you see the customer image, street view, and that's the one we're talking about. Now you could click on this and get to this section right here. And if you did, all you get to do is come up here to this flag right here, and then you get to the report a problem section. And basically what you'd see is reported image quality. What's wrong with the image? Misplaced image or misaligned navigation arrows. Now we could stop right there, but I wanna make sure that you don't get lost because Google is how Google is. And every now and then they get a little bit weird on how they do things. They make them uselessly complicated. So we're going to click the map because I want to show you something. It's not big, but it's something I figured that if I show it to you, forewarned is forearmed. Same image. If we click on it. You'll notice that little flag's gone. So we're going to have to come up here and hit these three dots, hit report a problem, and boom, shakalaka, we're back in the same spot. But when we're back in the same spot, the questions are a little bit different. Why? I don't know. Don't think it matters because what we're doing, we're still working betwixt the lines. So what we're going to do is click pretty much any one of these boxes. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing is we need this box right here. So we're going to hit misplaced image or misaligned navigation arrows just because it's the one at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and put some words in here. And the words we're going to put in there is that the image is incorrect. It's not the image for the address listed on the map. So we're saying, hey, it's not that the map information is wrong because that's the first thing that they're going to think. So, no, no, the map information is correct. The image is wrong and we're telling them that. Now, the only thing that we're doing by filling in this block right here and then clicking it is we're juicing the system or goosing the system, I guess is a better way of saying it, so that a human being or at least a human or a machine with human-like qualities will look at this and go, hey, something needs to be adjusted. And either one of two things I'm believing is going to happen. They're either going to go, oh, yeah, you're right. That image right there does not correspond to the image with that to the correct location. And they'll reach into their repository and put the correct image there because they've got the image or they will flag this uh, location to make sure that when they send that car around the next time that those images change out. So one of those two things are going to happen, but we want to make sure that they know to do something, which is why we fill out this information right here. So email address, put your email address in there, put your I'm not a robot, click submit, boom shakalaka, you're on your way. In the next video, well, at some point, I'm not sure when I'm going to crank out that next video, I'm going to show you what you do when somebody that's not you has added images to your Google profile and you don't necessarily want them to be there. Sometimes it's not a bad thing, sometimes it's kind of annoying, but 
in any event, there is a remedy. Until then, hey, thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later. Let me stop this thing.